Hi everyone. I uh, wanted to talk a little bit about uh, a controversy of sorts that's going around about uh, the All Things Must Pass 50th anniversary album soon to come out. And Bobby Whitlock, who uh, was the co-founder of Derek and the Dominoes, among his other achievements. And uh, he's a, a keyboard player. And uh, I guess the influence for this video of mine comes from a video that was made by John Heaton. So I want to give John Heaton some credit. Uh, he was uh, bringing to everybody's attention uh, the idea that uh, supposedly Bobby Whitlock was skipped over uh, so far as providing interviews and uh, information and being a part of the upcoming 50th anniversary of All Things Must Pass. And I watched John's video, and I thought it was very interesting, very enlightening. And it really had my interest perked so much that I decided to go over to a YouTube channel uh, of Bobby Whitlock and Coco, and they uh, actually uh, made a, a bunch of videos over the past, I guess, year or so. I was kind of like going through them and learning a lot and finding out that, yeah, uh, I didn't realize how involved, actually, Bobby Whitlock was in the All Things Must Pass sessions and the album. He's he's all over it, uh, apparently, and I uh, didn't really know that. I thought, yeah, yeah it would, would have been very interesting if he could have had uh, something to say uh, for the anniversary edition that comes out. Now, according to John Heaton's video, uh, what the the story was supposedly... At some point, Bobby Whitlock on his channel, I think, had uh, a video or two up where he was discussing this, and then subsequently the videos were taken down for some reason, and uh, nobody knew why they were taken down. What was the reason that uh, either they had to be taken down or uh, Bobby himself decided to take them down? I don't know. But what I found uh, kind of interesting, too, is that when I went over to Bobby Whitlock's channel, and when I uh, perused a few videos, I did see a number of videos devoted to talking about All Things Must Pass. Uh, you know, some of them fairly recent uh, in June of 2021. And then even going back a year later, uh, earlier, excuse me, it's early in the morning here. Uh, <laughs> a year earlier in 2020, uh, he was also uh, on camera discussing his contributions to All Things Must Pass. So that also was curious to me. I don't know, I, you know, hearing this stuff about how his videos were taken down and he really wasn't really going to go on talking about uh, the All Things Must Pass 50th. And there are videos there about All Things Must Pass. If you're interested, as I am being a fan of George, you know, uh, I went over there and I kind of got a lot of information out of there. I didn't even realize, for example, I just never knew that Bobby actually uh, sang along with George on the uh, My Sweet Lord song. Uh, supposedly, later on, I think George kind of like had his own voice more to the fore uh, in the mix, but uh, I, I never knew that. And other things that I learned. So I want to recommend Bobby Whitlock's channel, you know, uh, uh, to find information that you didn't know about, you know, I think. And uh, this is just really a, kind of a somewhat controversial here amongst the... YouTube fans and the Beatles fans and the, you know, George Harrison and Beatles community lately. And this is like a hot topic, uh, you know, around the uh, Beatles water cooler, if you, for lack of a better term. And, uh, well, I'm looking forward to the 50th anniversary of All Things Must Pass. And I really wish that uh, somehow Bobby Whitlock could have been more of a part of that. Um, as I say, I didn't realize how much... Uh, involvement there really was and uh, there were not many people left alive who participated in all things must pass and it would have been great to have bobby's insight and uh memories to this because he had watching his own video channel i could see that he has a lot of recollections and a lot of uh clear clear uh memories and thoughts about what it was like in those times and having a, a good time working with uh, George and everyone else. I mean, Eric, you know, Eric Clapton, of course, Clapton and Phil Spector and uh, uh, Badfinger and on and on. So, yeah, uh, it's just kind of like uh, acknowledging John Heaton's video and also 
uh, also calling your attention to Bobby Whitlock's channel on YouTube, all right? And also, uh, what do you think of this? I mean, what do we know about this and uh, Bobby Whitlock's involvement in All Things Must Pass and his credits on different editions or not on the past? Because this is all new to me. It's it, it's weird how an album could be, you know, 50 years old plus, and you can learn something still, even now, in the 21st century about it. You know, that's part of what goes on here with the Beatles and solo Beatles. There's always stuff to learn, always stuff to talk about and discuss, and, uh, you know, challenge, and uh, for us to come together as fans and give our thoughts and opinions on it. Okay, everybody, thanks for watching.